Let's talk about ionic bonds. An ionic bond is a type of chemical bond that forms when one atom transfers one or more electrons to another atom. This usually happens between a metal and a non-metal. If we look at the periodic table, we can easily see where these elements are. Metals are located on the left and center parts of the table. Nonmetals are grouped on the top right side. When a metal and a nonmetal react, the metal tends to lose electrons, and the nonmetal tends to gain them. This transfer of electrons creates charged particles called ions. When a metal atom loses electrons, it becomes a positively charged ion called a cation. At the same time, the non-metal atom gains those electrons, becoming a negatively charged ion called an anion. Because these two ions have opposite charges, they attract each other strongly. This electrostatic force of attraction between oppositely charged ions is what we call the ionic bond. To make this clearer, Let's look at a classic example, sodium chloride, or what we know as table salt. A sodium atom has 11 electrons. Its electrons are arranged with 2 in the K shell, 8 in the L shell, and 1 in the M shell, which is its outermost shell. Now, let's look at chlorine. A chlorine atom has 17 electrons. They're arranged as 2 in the K shell, 8 in the L shell, and 7 in the M shell. To achieve stability, each atom needs to complete its outer shell. For sodium, this means losing the one electron in its M shell. By losing it, sodium reaches the stable electronic configuration of the noble gas neon and becomes a positively charged ion. On the other hand, Chlorine needs one more electron to complete its octet. When it gains that electron, it achieves the stable configuration of argon and becomes a negatively charged ion. At this point, with sodium carrying a positive charge and chlorine a negative one, the two ions attract each other with a strong electrostatic force. This powerful attraction pulls them together, forming an ionic bond. The result? is a new compound, sodium chloride, better known as table salt. And because this electrostatic attraction is non-directional, each ion pulls in several oppositely charged ions from every direction. This creates a regular, repeating pattern called a crystal lattice. It's this structure that gives ionic compounds like sodium chloride their distinct properties. They're usually hard and brittle, have high melting and boiling points, and often dissolve easily in water. Before we finish, let's quickly compare ionic bonds with covalent bonds. Both involve interactions between atoms, but they work in very different ways. In an ionic bond, one atom transfers one or more electrons to another. This typically happens between a metal and a nonmetal. As a result, one atom becomes positively charged the other becomes negatively charged, and the two are held together by a strong electrostatic attraction. In a covalent bond, however, the atoms don't transfer electrons. Instead, they share one or more pairs of electrons. This kind of bond usually forms between two non-metals, and the atoms remain neutral. Unlike ionic bonds, covalent bonds are directional meaning the attraction occurs along the specific region where the electrons are shared between the two atoms. In short, ionic bonds involve electron transfer and charge attraction, while covalent bonds involve electron sharing between neutral atoms.